All right, folks, today we are out in the Champions area. I don't know if they call it Champion Forest or just Champions, but over kind of south of Tomball near the Beltway. And uh, today we're going to be doing, um, I've been calling it a gut job. I guess you could just call it a clean out, whatever. But there was a beehive up here in this soffit. Now, the homeowners told me years past he had bees up there before um, that weren't really an issue, and then they just left. And he says now the bees that were up there were very aggressive. So they went ahead and had them exterminated. Uh, they've got guys that are going to come in and replace all of this trim up here where the bees were getting in. Uh, but they wanted to go ahead and have me clean it out and get all the combs and everything out before to go ahead and replace the trim. So that's what we're working on today. So we've got her opened up now, <clears throat> and the homeowner actually asked that I take off the fascia. Normally I you know, take down the soffit, but they actually asked that I take off the fascia because they're gonna replace it anyway. So we had to pull off the fascia, which is you know, tremendously rotted, and then I had to cut and pull off that band board behind it to get up here. Uh, but here's all the original hive, real dark combs. Um, so he told me what happened was they'd had bees before, they sprayed them, they didn't have bees for about a year, and then they got bees again, sprayed them again, and here I am. So. So no surprise there, that's what these old dark combs are. Those are actually from the first hive that was here before. But what I want to show you guys was this is one of the problems when you spray them is here's all the hive here down low. And here's this honey that they've stored way up there away from everything else. And that's because this stuff down here didn't smell as good. So they actually moved their hive and tried to get higher up to get away from that smell. Now they got boxed out. I can see there's there's a a joist there or a rafter there and there's a there's an angled smaller rafter like a nailer plate but there's a bigger rafter behind it um, so they got boxed out in that corner up there the problem is now i've got to try to see what tools i've got in the truck <laughs> as far as duct taping my my hive tool to a, a broom handle or something so i can reach all the way up in there and knock that out because i don't want to go inside and cut their ceiling and that's all empty honeycomb anyway so it's old empty honeycomb i shouldn't have to you know i should be able to just knock it out with the hive tool and have it basically just fall down to me so Anyway, I'm gonna start whacking on. I'll just give you a little update where we're at. This project is quite a monster. You see combs going way up in there. If I can get it to focus. That is, you know, I don't know if the camera really shows you, does justice, but that is me shoulder deep in here with these stinking staples gouging me. Uh, but shoulder deep, and those are out of the reach of my fingertips. They go back in there, also out of the reach of my fingertips. And so I'm reaching back in there with the hive tool, chopping on them. Um, and I've also built me a, a custom tool here. I think we'll nickname this tool Old Big. This is my extended reach scraper tool. <laughs> so that I can get all the way up in there where they're stuck at and try to at least knock them loose. And if I can knock them down then I think I can get the hive tool, maybe flip it around on that pole and, and pull them out. But right now I'm just trying to cut them and get them knocked down so I can see what I've actually got. But bunch up in there. These right here obviously are right within reach. Still a good little cluster of bees. They're totally, they're not bothering me at all. And then of course we've still got that other chunk. I don't know if you guys can see those. I showed them to you before. They're up, way up in there. Those will be easy enough to get their straight shot in. It's just these right here in this corner is really a struggle trying to reach up in there and get a hold of them. But that's why I'm trying to work on those first. These combs that are back in there, those are empty. I can see they're old honeycomb, but they're actually empty. So God forbid they stay, that's okay. I've got this little bit right here. They're below the top sill of the wall. I can see combs, but I don't know how deep they go. And the only way to get those out is to go inside and cut through the drywall because you've got your double top sill and then you've got your OSB sheathing right there on the bottom. So there's just no way for me to get to them without either going through the drywall inside or the brick outside. And I've actually explained that to the homeowner and he said those might just those might just stay and we'll take our chances on on rotting honey, which if that's what he wants to do, that's his gamble, not mine. So anyway, uh, yeah, a little update. Try to see if, how much more of this I can get yanked out of here. 
All right, I think we're calling it for the outside anyway. I gotta still talk to the homeowner and see if he wants me to, to go inside. Those few combs that you can see right up there, I don't know why my light is all of a sudden. All of a sudden it's like it's not enough. Anyway, those few combs that you can see up inside of there, they're all empties. Uh, there's actually even some, some wax moth damage on them. So those are all old empty honeycomb. I cut out what I could with my extended reach tool um, but I just can't seem to get a hook on those to pull them back. All the nail heads and stuff get in the way of me trying to sweep them out of there. But this stuff's all clean. Got all the honey out of that. And you know, like I said, my only concern is, you can't see it from this side, but I showed you that little bit of honeycomb that I could see right there inside the top sill, uh, inside the wall on the other side. But everything else is out, cleaned out, all the honey's out. So there's just that little bit it's inside the wall. I'm going to discuss that with a homeowner and, and decide what they want to do. But otherwise, we are done on this trash out. It was it was a big, big hive, a lot bigger than what I expected based on what he told me had happened as far as they were here for a while, sprayed them, gone, here for a while, sprayed them, you know. So anyway, it is what it is. Well, just to show you, we ended up with three and a half buckets full of chunks of comb and debris. There was everything still in there. There was plenty of brood in there. There was plenty of honey in there. Uh, mostly old stuff. Very little new fresh comb. But you can see here was some, here's some new fresh brood there. Um, and there was a little bit of all the honey. I think all the honey was in the, was in the old combs. There was maybe one or two, maybe one or two pieces that was in some new honeycomb. There's some newer stuff there. But anyway, yeah, three and a half buckets full of. Everything you could think of. Holy moly. Was that seriously a queen cell cup? <laughs> It'd be like one of them killer hornets. Not a queen cell. Anyway, that's it. Clean it up, picking up, and then uh, I don't I don't believe the homeowner's gonna want me to cut their wall open, but we're gonna go discuss it with them and see.